NCAA tournament tomorrow noon on ESPN. So we go to 174 pounds, two top 10 wrestlers here, Mikey Labriola in the black singlet for Nebraska and Devin Skatska in the gray for Minnesota. And Skatska, the last time that they wrestled, jumped out to a pretty decent lead and wasn't able to control it. And Labriola got a takedown late. Was able to go ahead and win in overtime. Seven to five in Las Vegas. So they go head to head. Second time this year, the seventh time overall. And Labriola for Nebraska has won four of the first six matchups. All but one of them have been a decision. Yeah, see how these guys are moving their feet a little bit in the tie up there. They're just, you know, the motion is, is there. They're looking like a couple of boxers there. They don't, they're not standing in the ties, jerking, moving the guys around, ducking, changing levels. Both guys working on snaps. Good reactions to those snaps. Couple of all Americans. Labriola comes in 17 and 6, 5 and 3 in Big Ten action. Finished sixth last year in Pittsburgh, racking up 30 wins overall. A sophomore out of Easton, Pennsylvania, against the redshirt senior Skatska out of Richmond, Michigan, about 45 minutes north of Detroit. Front headlock situation now for Skatska. See if he He's now the lockdown there, but uh, those are kind of the tiring out techniques that you want to employ. Minnesota, for years and years and years, but really physical in the tie up. When they get a hold of the guy's collar tie, they're going to push, they're going to move a guy, they're going to try to really work the guy's lower back, upper body. They pride themselves in you know, staying right there in that inner circle. Skatska last year, also an All-American, eighth in Pittsburgh as a first-year gopher after he transferred from Indiana, where he was a two-time NCAA qualifier in his three seasons there. Either guy able to get to a leg, see a lot of ear-to-ear -ear action where you, you know, there's a little snatch of work there by like, like lab roll where he's able to go ahead and get to the leg. 30 seconds. Touch the leg anyway. That's the most penetration that we've seen so far in the match. Having a difficult time getting through really solid head hands defense. Now they clear. You can see how you back out and clear a little bit. Bring your hands down with you and see if anything develops and get your opponent to step into something. Short time here in the first. Seventh time that Skatska and Labriola go head to head. Was there anybody in your career who you faced that many times? No, not off mine. Probably four or five would, would be, you know, would catch most of them. Yeah. So. And did it get easier or harder the more you faced a guy? Well, I, th I thought it got easier. I wanted to feel that, you know, have that feel as many times as you could. And, but you could also sense when guys were catching up with you. You, you. you lay a good one on a guy, and all of a sudden the next time it's, you know, it's seven points, and the next time it's three points, and you know, then, then we're real battles. But. With the skate for Skatska, that's important. Gives him an opportunity to go ahead, maybe ride in the top position in third period, maybe win a match with riding time. And I sense that Labriola is, is the one that can get to the leg a little bit quicker. He's got the head stuff right there. Really nice job of stuffing the head down and getting a good handle on that. The go behind there with the, it wasn't really a front headlock, but he almost felt in like a cradle position. Well done. Off of uh, Skatska's shot, he could fit the scope, so these guys are really open to right now. This will be fun. Even at two, almost midway through the second after a scoreless first. Guy he's he, he 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 on the edge. Yeah, guy who heads his heads up, I think he's going to really force the action here. And right now, Skatska, he's able to go ahead and keep, continue the fight. Now these guys have a watch right here. He's got to be careful. This is really a dangerous position. A good job by official Eric Berkey. Now, whatever the game was in that position, it really could have been disastrous for one of those two guys with that ankle, with, with both knees in that position. Good job of officiating. Eric Lurkey, Steve Sparta, the officials tonight here inside Maturi Pavilion in Minneapolis. 2 2 second period for two top 10 wrestlers. I like the way Skatsky was getting to his shot, though. And, He's got to be a little bit quicker on the finish. 
Gave up that, you know, that, gave up that takedown, but he's really kind of come back and answered with good action right now. Not working off that underhook to see if that develops into anything. Labriola blocking out with the top of the head. And this is you know, this is where you see Mike with those tiring out techniques that we used earlier in the match. Heavy collar tie, snapping a guy down, see if they're going to wear on the guy in the third period. You mentioned earlier, too, before they got to that scramble on the far side of the mat, that you felt like Lavriola was the one who could get to a leg quicker. Why do you feel that way? Yeah, because he was about three inches shorter in his stance, and he was you know, lowering his level, getting a look at it. He just wasn't taking the, he wasn't pulling the trigger. So, again, plenty of opportunity with the two quick escapes. If Skaska can be tough in the top position, which he is with that leg coming in, you know, he can milk this all the way down. And, uh, has an option of, of, if he can ride out the whole time. This crowd senses it. Very edu well educated. Crowd. They know his opportunity is in the top position right here to be able to go ahead and get riding time. Riding time was plus 18 in favor of Labriola to start the period. It's now been negated and climbing up to eight seconds for Skatska. So he's, not, he's got the, the leg in on the right side and he's working hard with that win. And he's got an opportunity to go ahead and turn it. And what you don't want to do is make it potentially dangerous and have the referee stop it. You want to get the turn if you can. But if you don't, you're okay with the riding time. So he's now up to 30 seconds in favor of Skatska. A potentially deciding point and otherwise even match. And he's got this how he's got him broke down right there. He's got the belt buckle maybe turning the hips really well. One minute remaining in the period. He's got the points. see that anymore. The guy who sit there and grind on top of that turn position, work it all the way up, and this crowd really appreciates that for forgetting. Thirty seconds in the period. No way for Lap to get out of this. Skatska hoping to finish on top where he started the period. The seventh time these two have met. Labriola, a winner earlier this year, and here on home net on senior night for Skatska. It's a victory as he rides out the third and gets the near fall points to finish. Nice job here with this wing, and you know, it, it, so he was going one direction here, trying to turn the hips to the right, and then now he goes with the left. But notice how he just pushes hard here, and he works the arch of the back right there. And at some point in time, Labriola just says, "I've had enough. I'm going to go ahead and turn." As we watch the arm placement there of Skatska too, near the neck of Labriola. Mark Manning, the head coach for Nebraska, is talking to the officials, and there was some protest from that sideline as well. So uh, 